Happy Sunday, everyone. <laughs> I have a beautiful pork roast I'm going to cook in the oven today for Sunday dinner. I hope everyone's doing well on this beautiful Sunday. I'm going to really spice it up and I'm going to get it in my my uh, Dutch oven here and I'm going to sear it and then we're going to cook it in the oven for a while and then I'm going to make uh, pork roast and uh, I don't know what else mashed potatoes gravy for sure we'll see what else on this beautiful Sunday it's time for a nice Sunday dinner. It's still cool out there, so this will be good. Just going to spice it with all my spices I like. You can put whatever spice you want on yours. And then, uh, that's what brings out the flavor. Yeah. I like to do all sides. This was only 10 something at Romano's. I tell you, I find their meat prices really, really reasonable. That's for sure. Wipe my hands and then do the other side. I got no plans today. We don't have any plans. Just sitting around. I got some laundry to fold and I I think I might uh after I'm done folding a few loads of laundry, I might work on the puzzle. Well this is in the oven. It's gonna be a beautiful Sunday. The sun's coming out. Yeah. Okay, I'll show you when I get it searing in the pan. Okay, I, in the pan I have some butter and olive oil. We're going to seal... Uh, not seal. <laughs> what do you call it? Oh, my head sometimes. Sear. We're going to sear this baby up. On all sides. <clears throat> Just do it a few minutes on each side so it gets a nice crust on it. Okay, let's turn it over. And I mean all sides. I mean all sides. <laughs> Look at that baby. My mouth is watering. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I'm going to turn my feet off now for a minute. Okay, I'm going to take it out of here. Oh, 
put it on the plate for a minute. See all this stuff is so good. I'm gonna throw in a um, a garlic I cut up. Ouch, that's hot. Nice garlic flavor in there. Toast up that garlic for a minute. <clears throat> then we're going to put some chicken broth in there. That'll be making a good gravy. Yeah. Get all those bits off the bottom. There we go, that should be plenty. And then, this chicken broth is not very um, tasty. It's pretty watered down. I'm going to put in some of this stuff here. This liquid gold right here. At least a heaping spoonful. going to cook it on uh, 350 or 325 I don't not sure yet until it's done and I baste it every half hour with this liquid gold here yeah you got yourself a tasty pork roast mm -hmm. let's get this baby back in and get it in the oven Okay, in the oven she goes. Uh. Here we go. Okay, you guys, the pork is done. I've got it cooling on a plate before we slice it. It's early still, but I'm gonna make my gravy. And uh, I'll show you how to do it. This is what was on the bottom of the pot. I'm going to use some of the, more of this broth so we get a little more gravy. Put it in here. Use it all. Okay. that a mix. A taste? Mm. Okay, I'm going to bring you over here. Okay, this is going to be the easiest gravy. Take your liquid out like I did. If you need to add more chicken broth, then do it. We're going to put it in our pan. Let's see here. I'm gonna get my burner going. <laughs> Play with it till it gets going. Okay. I'm gonna put some butter in there. And flour. 
And we're just going to, uh, it works every time when I do it this way. We're going to melt this butter and cook this raw flour down. And then we're going to add our stock back in and it should become gravy. No problem. Just got to cook this butter up a bit. I mean this flour, not butter. <laughs> Sometimes I say things and I'm like, oh my, and I said the wrong thing. Like in the uh, video the other day, I said green peppers and I meant green onions. That's okay. And then I got a little more flour for that. Can you put him down so he can come and see me? Hun? can't see me, so he panics. Yeah. Just cook it for a few minutes. Just to get the raw taste out of the flour. Now you sit in there and you be good. Be good boy, Coke. Oh, Dad's calling me. Here, eat this other half of this no, cake. No, I don't want that. Right now. I want Dad's cook. Where are they? Oh, you and your dad's cookies. Wow! <laughs> it could be worse. It could be. He was outside working outside. Okay. Oh. We're going to add the juice. Let me make sure my burner's on. Son of a gun burner. Give me a freaking break. Put a little bit at, in at a time so it doesn't get all lumpy. Even if it is lumpy, it's homemade, so... There you go, you're fine. Right? A little more in. Oh, look at that rich gravy. Very, very rich. Mm hmm. Yes, it is. Easiest way you can make gravy. Where you're guaranteed it's going to thicken up. Okay, we got our burner going. You got to check it. Sometimes it just shuts off all by itself. I can feel this thicken already. Just keep stirring it till you can feel it thicken up. Oh yeah, look at that color. Woo hoo hoo! Woo hoo! See, I can see it thickened already. I'm going to turn it off so I don't burn it. And then just leave it aside till, till dinner time. You can heat it up in the microwave. Oh yeah, she looks good. Remove it from the heat. Okay. Let's try this. You see a lump? A little lump, don't worry about it. It's fine. We gotta let that cool off. See that gravy? See all the flavors in that?
Mmm. That is delicious. Oh, it's hot. Mmm. <coughs> delicious. I tried to cut it with the meat slicer and it just crumbled. It fell apart. <laughs> That's okay though because uh, I'm doing like uh, pork dinner and then I'm doing uh, leftovers. And then uh, I'm going to save some for pulled pork sandwiches that I'll put in the freezer. That part. But yeah, it just literally fell apart on me yeah so I'm gonna cut it with a knife it looks like a hot mess but that's okay that's okay she's cooked tender okay then I always see I put a excuse me Sandy Put a little gravy in this bowl and a little water and that's the juices and this will be so oh so delicious if you don't do that I find your roast beef or pork can get a little dry okay we're gonna put that aside till dinner time you gotta try a piece so and dip it in gravy Magnificent. Oh. Mm -hmm. <coughs> like Mama's home down cooking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, okay. Show them your birdhouses. The two. Tell them what they are. These, these are two blue birdhouses. And if you're thinking of uh, making them, just got to remember to check your diameter and from here from here to here that's got to be at least two inches and you find your center and whatever your width is anyway that's them board on the back so I can screw it to the tree I didn't have these on I just built them like this and my little red house that's a little red house <laughs> let See, me get Okay, it's on. You can talk. Oh, <laughs> here's the bluebird house. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go put it on the tree. All made out of scrap wood. It didn't cost us anything, yeah, did this it? this is just shelving. I had all this stuff here. Yeah. And even the screws, I used them on another project and I had them left over. If you're building any kind of thing to put outdoors, doors, always remember to use coated uh, screws. Like oh. deck screws or that. Because then they don't rot. Whereas if you use just a normal in-house, like a house screw for in the house that don't that withstand the rain, they rot off and they break, the head breaks off. Whereas this one, it's never going to go anywhere. Okay. He's going to go that. hang them up now. And one more tip. See how I got these holes on here? You cut them on that angle so it gets ventilation so you don't get no mold or no rot inside the cage. And then right here, you, when you do it, you actually measure up to here. And then when it's all done and said, you cut this little piece out. The, you cut the end off. That gives ventilation on both sides. Oh, I didn't know that. I was wondering yeah. why and it was like the that. the top, don't go flush. Our, uh, more, my washer's going to go. The more ventilation, the better. Okay. You need the ventilation in the summertime because it's so hot. Okay. That's why the the ventilation is there. I, That's why you I, don't you don't have to worry for them to be airtight. I gotta go get Coco. <laughs> he's yeah, outside. Coco sounds like he's dying outside. You better. It's in the fifties today, you guys. Beautiful weather. Come on, buddy. You wanna come out with me? Wonder where Cindy Lou is. Cindy Lou! Cindy Lou! Must be in the back. <laughs> Here she comes! 
Cindy Lou, where were you? Where were you, Cindy Lou? Hey! He's going up. Looking good. Dan, where'd you go? I got some corn. How's that look? Looks great. I'll put it over there for you to figure out. Give you something to do. Tap it, tap it. <laughs> he said not yet sure. He doesn't have the time or the doesn't have enough time to tap with work and everything. I'm having some chips and dip because whew, that was a lot of work in the kitchen. <laughs> we are doing um the instant mashed potatoes, but I'm going to tell you, I'll show you the package when I go to do it. I love those potatoes. And you know I'm pretty fussy about that stuff. How it tastes. And I love those potatoes. Yes. Now I might do carrots with it. Yeah. Neat singing if you hear that in the background. <laughs> oh. I am hot. I'm, I've opened a couple windows. Mm. Water. I opened the fridge to put the uh, the gravy in till dinner because it's still early. Oh. I better check. Is he okay? Yeah. He's okay. <laughs> He's putting the other two birdhouses on the fence over there. What was I saying? What was I saying? <laughs> oh, <clears throat> it's not hard for me to lose my train of thought. Yeah. I forget what I was saying. I'm looking at my magazines. Mm -hmm. You can always tell when somebody wanted to try a recipe. They put the corner down. <laughs> I had... Uh, I have these sticky things, but they don't stick. So I use little post-its. I use these. They stick better. Some of these recipes are like a no-brainer. Like, um, I'm like, why would you even put this in? Uh, strawberry shortcake. Buy a cake from the store, an angel cake, cut it up, put strawberries on, and cream. The, why was that even be considered a recipe? I don't, I don't get that. <laughs> but that's just me. Yeah. I'm finally finishing off these chips we got from Costco. All dressed. The bag is so big. It takes us forever to get through them. Bruce has to go back to work tomorrow. <laughs> he was hoping for another week layoff. <laughs> So was I, but that's okay.
Okay, I'm going to go look at my book. If I have something to talk about, I'll come back on. <laughs> okay, I'm making red lobster biscuits. And because Nate wants them for his dinner, to go with his dinner. These are the potatoes I'm talking about. <laughs> They're so good. I'm not lying to you. Hold on, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> okay. We're gonna make these up, and I think I'm gonna do up green beans in the frying pan. Yeah, that's it. That's what's for dinner. Okay, guys, let's plate up this dinner. We got some roast pork. I thought these were appropriate for Sunday dinner. They just remind me of Sunday dinner. Okay, Bruce wants a bigger piece probably than than me. Okay. We got some beans. Beans. Just cook them up in the frying pan. See, now you'll have something to remember me by. What? You know, you come in here, you see, I'm at work. You're like, oh, bye, I'm bye. I like that little feet birdhouse out there. <laughs> I'll be watching it all. Hello! Get your head out of the food. No, I'm showing them. It's all right. I don't have any hair to get in the food. But I have none. Gravy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, the way he's eating this this pork, I'm not going to have any left for... Uh, green, green, green. <laughs> for what do you call green, it? Green. Pulled pork. Uh, don't worry about it. I prefer just normal over. Oh well, yeah, I wanted to make pulled pork sandwiches for Bill. When? Well, I don't know. I might have to get another pork line. I don't know. That was pretty cheap though. Yeah. That shit's pretty good. I haven't had pork in a long time. I know. My mom used to always have it. My mom too. She always had it once in a while. Instead of roast beef, we just, I never ate it back then. Where's his biscuits? How many does he want? I don't know. He didn't tell me. I'll give him three. Okay. Right I'm there. not arguing with him. Where's the plate? Well, I'll get you one if you just back out of my way for a minute. Okay, go over here. Here. Well, they're hot. Mm, yeah, baby, you're hot. Okay. okay. And I don't want you date. I don't want you gazing at them birdhouses all day. <laughs> you better get something done. Gravy needs to be hot. You made out like a bandit for uh, Valentine's Day. Why? If you added everything up, you made out like a bandit. Money wise, three birdhouses. That's uh. And then we got a biscuit on top of that. 150. I feed you well, so I paid for it. <laughs> okay. Let's give this a try. Okay, guys. Let's take a sample. Before we say goodnight, I still have to show you my puzzle, which I'm going to, well, Bruce's puzzle. I'm going to be working what on it. you showing my puzzle? Why? That's personal. After I eat. That's personal. How's everybody doing today? I know I'm off to the side. She likes all the attention. No, I, I just, you don't move <laughs> over, so. Well, don't worry about it. Move over more. There's my hand. Hi, people. How are you today? I like sitting like this. Oh, there. So, are you having a lovely 
Sunday. Mm. So I got two of my birdhouses hung. They're both of the delicious bluebird houses. Mm -hmm. Look at that. These biscuits are fantastic. And I got uh, three garden planters done. Because the last one I did, I'm, it's not very big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Speak a, up a bit. Because I can hardly hear you sometimes. You gotta be loud. I built, I built three Stop. planters. You gotta be loud like this. And me. the one planter. Stop. She said, I. you can't hear me. Yeah, I just said speak up a bit. Hey, people. And I got one that I. Tell them how your food is and we'll say. No, Good night. I, I, the other one I'm going to put on a couple logs. Well, they want to see them. Well, they will see it if, if they're good. If they're bad, I'm just going to be like Santa Claus. I'll be checking my list twice. That's the only way how to cook your pork roast. Oh, it's so delicious. In roast. You mm -hmm. got to sear it and then mm -hmm. in your Dutch oven. Not in a slow cooker. Mm. Mm -hmm. You want some of them juices to escape. Let some of that moisture out. Whereas if you have them inside of a slow cooker, it all stays inside. Okay, I'll be back to show you my puzzle before I say good night. What? Bye, people. Okay, this is the puzzle we're working on. We've got quite a bit done, I think. You think so, hon? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Sometimes it's just nice to sit and quiet and work on a puzzle. That's what we like to do a lot of times. <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to say goodnight, and we hope everyone had a great weekend. Okay, Good night, people. Bye. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. Later, Gator. And uh, over. <laughs> we hope you guys had a good weekend. Good night, everyone. Good night. Love yous.